So here I have a collection of different objects, and they're all made out of different materials. I have a cotton ball, a copper penny, a block of wood, a glass marble, a steel paper clip, this plastic toy soldier, an iron nail, and a rubber eraser. So here's the question. Which of these objects is made out of material that's soluble and will dissolve in water, and which of these objects are made out of materials that are insoluble and will not dissolve in water? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates, and I'll be back with the answer. So the best way to determine if a substance is soluble in water and will dissolve, or insoluble in water and won't dissolve, is to put it in some water. Now it's important that when you're doing an investigation about solubility that you let the material or the substance sit in the water for a while before you decide if it's soluble or insoluble. Even something like sugar, which dissolves really well in water, takes a little bit of time to dissolve. So if you just drop it in and then try and decide, you're going to get the wrong answer. So because of that, I placed all of these objects into the water quite a while ago, and I've just let them sit. Now, you can see that the toy soldier and the wooden block are floating on top of the water. That's because they're less dense than the water, but they still haven't started to dissolve. And then at the bottom, all of the objects are still there. There's the penny, the paper clip, the rubber eraser, the nail, the cotton ball, and the marble. All of the objects are still in the water and still in the same shape they were in when I put them in originally. That's because all of these materials are insoluble and none of them will dissolve in the water. So it was a little bit of a trick question. But I'm sure you and your classmates figured it out. Keep up the great work. I'll see you next time.